Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to some of the best champions you could choose for the side quest. So, I always feel like if I'm posting this a little bit, like, two, three days after uh, the quest goes live, like, I'm sure everybody's kind of, like, blasted through stuff, but maybe they haven't, maybe, you know. I will have to wait and make these on a weekly basis, although next week's going to be Act 8.4, and I'll probably do Act 8.4 versus the side quest, but, uh, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe I won't, but maybe that'll be a Thursday video. But yeah, some of the options. I've updated the spreadsheet, the Google Drive spreadsheet. Uh, now I also got to do Paragon and uh, a guide for the quest, the event quest. But I'll try and get to that early next week. Um, but yeah, I've put together this spreadsheet. Uh, just go over some some particular elements to consider. Sadly, because I've I was gonna wait. I will put footage up of kind of some of the champions I used in different scenarios and different paths. But um, yeah, I've already done the quest, so I can't access it. Um, it's done for this week. But I could talk about some of the champions to use and kind of uh, go over why they're important. So on the Loki path, uh, and here's the thing, you are restricted whenever you go into any of the paths. So the Loki path in particular, uh, you can use, uh, oh no, basically the quest in general for this week, I assume it's this week, science, cosmic, mystic, and tech. You can't use uh, skill on mutants. I'm pretty certain that's no skill on mutants. So you've got to be very specific on who you use. I think even more so because some of the paths do require you to uh, use certain uh, champions. Or certain champions are going to be better than others. For example, the Loki path, as I mentioned. Uh, Spider-Man 2099 is a great option because he has no buffs. Spot is a great champion because he has no buffs. Red Guardian, you guessed it. Titania, you guessed it, for she has no buffs, or she can she can cast herself with no buffs. Kindred, again, same, yes, exactly, I've gone very British, uh, same situation, they have no buffs. Uh, they're not saying that that's kind of like a complete, complete kind of like waste, it's just that that particular path, buffet. Um, so, it, you trigger, um, get a buff, get a dexterity, you feed the enemy, uh, regeneration. It's a pretty doable path. I think I did it with um, with Human Torch, but if you're looking for options, then of course go with uh, some of these champions uh, right here in your picture there. Uh, for the Rocket and Star Lord path, uh, which we can just say is the more, it's more the Rocket path rather than kind of like saying it overlaps. I did think about doing like an overlap thing. I suppose that's the, that's up to you. Do you want to go into the rocket path and go up to the Star Lord. The same way you can go uh, Winter Soldier and down and take on the Superior Iron Man type path. So you basically double dip on some of the nodes and things. If you want a challenge, go for it. But this is why that the rocket path is quite fun because uh, auto block. So true strike, true sense, auto block counters, so true accuracy um, are the way to go with it. Null, I recommend. Ch the champion is um, with, I think it's light attacks. Putting it a, uh, this is true accuracy, uh, and then Angela's got it as part of her kit, get a load of buffs, you know, counter auto block. And true sense with the SP1 with Hercules, and SP1 for true strike with Odin. Odin actually can double double dip, um, and I think Null, has, actually Null could be a good option um, with, with, his, with his ability actually on that particular path there. But you get what I mean, like there's, there's various options to take on, um, to take on all of this. Those cosmic champions seem to be the better options, especially because a lot of them seem to have true strike, uh, true accuracy, and true sense. Um, you know, in shape and form of uh, of Hercules. Hercules can basically clear a lot of this, but I would say it's you know their specific fights and uh, you know rotations to consider on the Winter Soldier path. Uh, oh no, we jumped the gun here. Superior Iron Man. This one is all about. If you do crits, you're likely to, to do unblockables. To be honest, you don't need to worry about it. Any champion will do. I've done it with Photon. I've taken in... Oh, I forgot I knew the other champion. I'll probably put the footage up on, on screen so you probably see who I've, who I've been using for different paths. But that's, again, like a... Yeah, just um, just any champion will do. Oh, it's unblockable. Oh, who cares? Like you're just doing loads of crit damage instead. Uh, Guillotine Deathless I used on this one. Uh, so it's any champion will do. 
think he used Photon in one of the fights after Superior Iron Man, but Captain Marvel fight, yeah, whatever it was, I, I, it's a very doable path, very easy, because the special attacks are very easy for this particular week. On the Winter Soldier path, however, um, slow debuff champs, i got to be honest, I've got this. by the time you see this, I've probably removed uh, Titania, I've probably removed all these slow debuff ones, Mainly because when I was trying them out, um, but I didn't work against the Gwenpool fight, so maybe I will leave them up. But I didn't. I only tried. I think it was She-Hulk against the Gwenpool fight, and I wasn't getting a slow debuff. It's probably something like user error with that one. So maybe these these three work. Uh, I just decided to experiment it maybe in the wrong wrong champion. But I can't. The thing is, I can't go back into it experiment again. So it's always kind of like one and done. Well done. Um, True Strike champions maybe the best. Odin, uh, SP1 rotation. It's only if you knock down. If you knock down, you get that evasive passive. I don't think it's anything to worry about, but uh, each to their own with it. But, you know, Odin made it a bit more easier. You've got Heimdall, again, if you're interested. Heimdall could do that path there with the rocket path. But, uh, uh, the champion, again, um, yeah, option. Um, Corvus Glaive, maybe with with that. I don't. It's an iffy one with a synergy one, so do bear that in mind. And it's Magneto. Uh, anything really does the job fine, but I would be specific on stuff. Just do special attacks. Uh, you can't build power through the normal means. Omega Sentinel worked. Nimrod slow fight worked. Ultron worked. Uh, Hercules, I think, worked when I tried him first off, and Photon, yeah, I mean, is there any champion that really does high damage special attacks are going to be good, whether it be Cosmic, whether it be Science, or whether it be Mystic, just be careful, you've got to rough it out, and I would also recommend maybe a champion like, um, like Hulk, I'm going to put that into here. Um, I'm probably actually going to make him my star boy for here as we look at the other one as well. Uh, so, yeah, put him a star with there. The reason being is with this champion, Hulk that is, you can do stuns. And you want to try and push the champion to an SP2. For like power, you strike, strike a your relic thing. Um, sorry, spirit gauge and... Push that SP1. Keep on locked in an SP1 as much as possible. Push the enemy to an SP2 because it's a lot more easier to evade, especially because the SP1 is, yeah, it's got a kind of like, because it's the SP2 of Magneto, but the SP2 um, of White Magneto is the SP1 of Magneto. So you might want to look to that, maybe keeping a champion stunned and suppressed, which is the kind of route that I went with uh, why um, Hulk is one of the best ones. And the same thing can be said across the page here. Uh, so options for uh, Rook's Vault. Rook's Vault, again, another interesting um, fight with that champion, uh, where Magneto had Power Shield. Uh, the Rook's Vault is very much a... Keep the champion to an SP1. It's going to be unblockable, so watch out for that. Same situation. If you've got a champion that can suppress down a defender, keep them stunned, and do things like, for this particular fight, heavy attack rotations, then you're going to be able to get this done really easily. So some of the footage that you'll see on screen in a minute is just like that particular decency from that champion in rotation. But any champion that got has got anything like a Fury passive can be really, really effective to do damage on... Um, on heavy attacks. This is why you've got the likes of uh, Punisher 29-9. That's brilliant. Uh, the Ferocity from uh, Apocalypse. The Passive Fury on heavy attack from Colossus. Heavy attack um, from... Yeah, from Galen could work quite nicely. Archangel. Anything really... Anything really, you know, rotations from Hulkbuster, uh, Wolverine Weapon X, the Vision I hear is very good. I think Simula put out a great video about that. Uh, um, How the Duck, yeah, How the Duck. Um, Ghost, because, hey, Ouchie Masteries, oh, they're absorbed. Oh, Heavy Attack Fury Passive, or Fury, sorry, Fury, boom, fight done. Fantastic option. 
uh, parry heavy off of Warlock, um, heavies from Mysterio, you name it, brilliant. Um, Hulk is my go-to for that one, the one I recommend, but there's a few options that are very, very effective uh, for this. Right, that's been it for the video. Those have been some options uh, when it comes to uh, the side quests. I don't know things. If you haven't done it, I don't know if this is going to change in next week. But if it does, I'll put out some other options um, and we'll kind of adapt as we go as a team, as a community. Thank you very much for watching this video. Check out some other content located on the screen. Did you use any of those? Did you? What, what did you use? Was it a better option? Put it in the comments. Bye-bye for now. And thank you for watching.